Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we will look into the Mammonite build for Blacksmith. Mammonite harnessed the power of money to deal neutral physical damage to a single target. However, this is a very expensive build since you will consume copper coins in each cast. In this video, we will check the recommended equipment stats, cards, skills, and other tips for the blacksmith mammonite build. Alright, let's get started. First, let's check the recommended skills allocation. For the merchant class, max out mammonite, discount, and overcharge. Then allocate the rest of the points to any skill that you need. We need the passive skills to earn profit by selling items and buying items from the NPC in a discounted price. This is to sustain the copper coins needed for the skill. For the blacksmith class, max out adrenaline rush, weapon perfection, power trust, and power maximize. Then allocate the rest of the points to any skill that you need. For this build, we will use Mammonite as our main damage skill and the blacksmith buff will further increase our damage. Up next, let's check the recommended stats for this build. Since Mammonite's cooldown is affected by our attack speed, we need to balance our STR to increase our base attack and agility to increase our attack speed. We will not add any decks, but in case you need more hit rate, you may want to adjust your equipment set instead. Up next, let's check the recommended equipment. For the weapon, we will be using Doomslayer. This weapon increases our base attack, but decreases our attack speed by almost half. This is much better than using the Great Axe since it deals more damage. In addition, we will be free from additional Copper Coins reduction from using the Great Axe weapon. Although, we need to use equipments, foods, potions, enchantments, and modifications that adds agility and attack speed. This is to offset the attack speed reduction from using the Doomslayer. This is the damage comparison for each weapon. For the armor, we will be using Combat Uniform or Thief Clothes. For the garment and shoes, we will be using Mountain Ranger Set to increase our skill damage. For the accessories, we will be using a ring to add more strength and physical attack, or martyr's leash to increase our attack speed. For fashion accessories, we can use equipment that adds STR, attack speed, agility, and physical damage. Up next, let's check the recommended cards for this build. For the weapon, we will be using Awakened Andre cards. Or we can use cards that increases our damage to the target's size, element, or race. For the armor, we will be using Awakened Picky card for STR or Awakened Thief Bug card for agility. For the garment, we can use either Ninetale card, Dragonfly card, Orc baby card, or Vagabond wolf card. As for the shoes, we can use cards that increases attack speed like the Male Thief bug card. For the accessories, we can use either Awakened Yo-Yo card, Mantis card, or Greatest General card. As for the cores, we can use Accurate Module Core to reduce our copper coins consumption, 
Momentum Module Core to increase our attack speed, and Energy Storm Core for a bonus AoE attack. We can also use Link Portal Core, Mana Reversal Core, Cold Blood Core, and Blood Thirst Core to increase our scale damage. For the pets, we can use either Sohi, Squidget, Divination Cat, Lady Candle, Dunel, or Oni Samurai. Sohi, Squidget, and Divination Cat increases our attack and damage. Lady Candle restores our HP, and Dunel and Oni Samurai adds additional AOA damage. As for the foods in Potion, we can use Agility Potion and Fresh Shrimp. This is to increase our attack speed and offset the attack speed reduction from the weapon. Also, we can use Axe Weapon Converter depending on the element weakness of our target. And finally, let's check the damage of this build to other players. This is a PvP-oriented build since it costs a lot of copper coins. Alright, that's it for the video. If you find this guide helpful or you enjoy watching this guide, please help me out by hitting the like button. Also, please say something nice for the algorithm or let me know what you think about this build or what you would like to see next by leaving a comment down below. And last but not the least, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys on our next video. Thank you for watching.